I don't really like cursing in my videos. I don't like, you know, to go back and try to edit them. But I can't say this, like, talk about this topic, and but without saying any curse words. And viewer discretion is advised, although I will add, like, you know, bleeps and stuff like that. But still, I just... How's it going guys, Mr. Game of Fame here, and today we have another episode of Sports Talk, and I just can't believe it, what I'm talking about. So, Greece, Bosnia and Herzegovina qualifying match happened yesterday when I'm recording this, and it was a 0-0 draw, as a Greek supporter myself, this is a great, this is a great result, because we're still in second place, with 12 points I want to say, so we're still in that playoff spot for qualifications for the World Cup next year and that means that Bosnia are right behind us but I want I really want to talk about the game itself I want to talk about what happened after and you know the how disgusting it is you know that a fight broke out and just it was a whole mess fans got injured a Greek player got his teeth got his tooth knocked out like, what the fuck is all this bullshit? Like, it honestly, like, I, look, like I'm already getting into it right now. Like, it, it's, it all, I think it all started when Manolas and Zeka, who are both teammates, and I gotta get credit to Manolas, who didn't, he didn't really lose his cool, although he's kind of known in the past for losing his cool. Like, Zeka's the one who lost his cool. He is the one that, you know, attacked him first, who kind of, like, started this whole mess. And it all got out of a hand. And then the, 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 the part that really got me fucking pissed off is when a coach, a, a, a coach who is a part of a national team, right? Someone who has been appointed for to, to do, to teach these players how to play correctly, how to fit into the system, how to be good players and also good people goes out there and fucking punches Yanni Otas in the face and loses a teeth. This man has a fucking job and some people don't have jobs in this fucking world and this asshole has a fucking job. It is fucking ridiculous and he does not deserve to hold that prestigious title to be a coach for a national team he is representing a whole country a whole country and he's doing that he is doing that he's making a whole country look bad if i was running this and i was if, if i was investigating like how the, the this whole situation i would his punishment he would not be not only who he, he would be fired if i was the manager i would fire him i would fire him he is making me look bad he's making us look bad this that is intolerable that is not tolerable it's ridiculous i don't know who knows he's probably not even gonna get fired because part of the coach is a fucking delusional a-hole you know if i was investigating this he not only will he be fired but he will not will never be coaching professional football again he would not 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 even his five-year-old's little his five-year-old rec league kid his kids rec league like he's not he's he should not be coaching ever he, that is unbelievable. There is no time for fucking that. Ridiculous. Absolutely scum of the earth. Like, you know, how does this how how does he have a job like that? And he's doing that. He should be a bra a, a barroom brawler. He should not have a job like this. Ridiculous. Absolutely disgusting. And then the fans. Oh my god, the fans. The Bosnian fans. You know, it's just, here's the thing with, like, North America sports and, like, sports in Europe. When a fight breaks out, you know, in North America, like, you know, they're trying to hurt you, but, like, but it's kind of, like, in response and, like, so maybe, like, but it's, like, sometimes you don't really mean it in a sense. Like, you know, and then you have your Twitter beef and then whatever, no one fucking remembers. But in, in Europe, it's kind of like they want to kill you. Like they really want to do. They do want to kill you. There's just it's a whole different mentality. It's a whole different ball game in Europe. Whole different ball game. That's why if you move there, you gotta have an open mind to where you're going and what's and how it's different from the previous place you were. And 
The fans there were also scum. They were also scum. Not only was the, the Greek national anthem barely audible, barely audible, they also booed it. They jeered it. It was ridiculous. Absolutely disrespectful. I've been to hockey games in Canada, and not a single time has they, have they booed the American national anthem. I, I've been to hockey games in the States, and they've never booed the Canadian national anthem. They have been respectful, and it's, you know, and then their national anthem plays. How that, you know, flies is beyond me. And Greek fans got injured, and Greek players, you know, they wanted the police, they wanted to support them, they wanted to help them, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. It was ridiculous. I just, I really can't believe it. I really, this situation got really, really out of hand. And then the, the fucking Bosnian head coach, I don't know who the fuck his name is, um, Dushtik. He, I think he went, he talked about it and he said, Greece played dirty and blah, 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 hoopla, bunch of BS because his team, okay, we had a couple yellow cards, but you know, we we're, we're playing we we're playing football it's a little physical kid you soft bitch and and but not, not even and then after the game you you have one of your coaches and you have your players trying to hurt people they're trying to hurt people and then you have your fans that you should be controlling they're trying to hurt other fans honestly this is ridiculous and they should they should be punished how they should be punished First off, I'm afraid that Greece should, are going to get punished. I don't think they should. Oh, because they... Yeah, we fought back. But because they were attacking us. Like, what? We're going to just take punches? No. I bet you we'll take, like, a, like a fine of, like, a couple hundred grand. But I think Bosnia are going to get a big ban. I think they should get a, a nice fine. I think they should get home qualifying games, you know, unattended. So they have no, no one in the stands. I think... That coach who sucker punched Gianni Otas in the face should be fired. It should not be coached. Should not coach ever again. Maybe you should get a point, a point deduction because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Just I'm just throwing out ideas. Maybe the point deduction is a little stretching it, but I, I have no respect for those people. If you're Bosnian and you're watching this, uh, this is not directed to you. If you support, if you were there at the game. And if you support those actions of those players and the coaches, then you're in that same category. I have no respect for you. You guys are terrible. You guys are terrible. I there, I have no time for you. But if you're Bosnian and you agree, uh, you don't agree with this. If you think this was this is ridiculous, then I am not directing any hate towards you. This is this is this is ridiculous. I am absolutely done with this. I'll leave links to some articles in the description. If you want to read read up on some uh, this website that follows a lot of Greek sports. I think is absolutely. I love this website. I highly recommend it. I'll post some links in the description for some articles. And yeah, that's really it, guys. What are your thoughts on this? Well, actually, before we get into that, I just want to say Bosnia. Good luck in your qualifiers, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the World Cup. You know, on your couch watching you. And you, you lazy fucktards. While Greece will be in the will be in the World Cup next year, and then you will be watching it on your seat, on your chair, on your whatever. Ha! Screw you. So, geez, that got really like it, I, just, I don't really go on anymore. I just I just can't believe that happened. I really, really can't. I have no time for people like them. So yeah, guys, what are your thoughts on this whole debacle, this disgraceful act? And what do you think will be like a punishment by FIFA or whatever? And that's really it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more content on this channel. Follow me on Twitter at MrGameOfFame. I'll see you guys next time.